In the shadowed corridors of history, whispers of a clandestine manuscript have echoed through time. A text shrouded not just in mystery, but in controversy and intrigue. This is not a tale spun from the looms of ordinary lore, but a narrative steeped in the enigmatic and the forbidden. Welcome to another journey into the realms of the forgotten and the veiled as we delve into the clandestine world of the Gospel of Judas. In today's episode, we stand at the threshold of a revelation, peering into a chapter of history that was almost lost to the sands of time. The Gospel of Judas, a text that dares to dance with the most provocative ideas, challenges the very foundation of what we have been led to believe. What secrets does this ancient manuscript hold? Who was Judas Iscariot truly in the grand theater of history? Was he the traitor as universally denounced? Or is there more to his story, hidden beneath layers of theological and historical dogma? Join us as we traverse the blurred lines between history and myth, between villain and hero, in our quest to uncover the truth behind the gospel of Judas. Prepare to challenge what you know, to question what you've been taught, and to explore the enigmatic narrative of one of the most controversial figures in religious history. Stay with us as we unravel the secrets of a text that could redefine centuries of belief and understanding. Venturing further into the labyrinth of history, our story transports us to the year 1978, to the banks of the Nile in Middle Egypt. Here, in the shadows of ancient tombs and forgotten gods, a remarkable discovery emerges from the dust of antiquity. In a scenario akin to a modern-day Indiana Jones adventure, a local farmer stumbles upon a hidden treasure, a leather-bound papyrus codex. This is no ordinary find. It is a beacon from the past, holding secrets that could potentially turn the tide of religious understanding. This farmer, unaware of the magnitude of his discovery, had unearthed the Gospel of Judas. Little did he know, he was holding a fragment of history, a voice from the past that had been silenced for nearly 1,700 years. The Codex, fragile and time-worn, was a time capsule waiting to be opened, its contents a mystery waiting to be unraveled. The journey of the Gospel of Judas from this point is as tumultuous as its content. For years, it passed passed through various hands, traded in shadowy corners of the antiquity's black market, its value unappreciated, its significance misunderstood. It wasn't until the year 2000 that this enigmatic manuscript finally found its way to scholars who could unlock its secrets. But what secrets did this ancient text hold? The Gospel of Judas, unlike the canonical Gospels, presents a radically different perspective on the relationship between Jesus and Judas Iscariot. Here, Judas is not depicted as the notorious betrayer, but rather as a key collaborator in a divine plan. This gospel suggests that Judas's act of betrayal was in obedience to a request by Jesus himself. The very existence of this text raises profound questions. Why was this perspective lost, or more intriguingly, hidden? How does this reinterpretation of Judas's role challenge the established narrative of one of the most pivotal moments in Christian theology? The text compels us to reconsider not just the character of Judas, but the very nature of betrayal and sacrifice. It invites us to ponder what truths have been buried under the sands of ecclesiastical authority and the passage of time. The Gospel of Judas, with its controversial narrative, does not just add a new chapter to the story of Christianity. It forces us to rewrite parts of it. It confronts us with the possibility that history is not a fixed entity, but a tapestry woven from various threads of perspective, interpretation, and perhaps even hidden agendas. The story within these ancient pages is not a mere retelling of familiar events. It is a dramatic reimagining of the Judas narrative. Here, Judas Iscariot is not the villain as he has been portrayed for centuries, but rather a chosen disciple entrusted with a secret mission that will forever alter the course of history. The Gospel of Judas begins with a scene that sets the tone for its unorthodox approach. Jesus laughing at his disciples' misunderstanding of the true nature of his spiritual message. This laughter, far from being scornful, is a pivotal moment, highlighting the gulf between the earthly understanding of his disciples and the transcendent knowledge he possesses. The core of this Gospel revolves Revolves around private conversations between Jesus and Judas, absent from any other biblical texts. In these dialogues, Jesus reveals to Judas mysteries about the nature of the universe, the hierarchy of spiritual beings, and the ineffable cosmic order that underpins all of existence. This knowledge is esoteric, reserved only for those who can transcend earthly perceptions. Crucially, Jesus informs Judas of his role in the divine plan. Judas is to betray Jesus, not as an act of treachery, but as a necessary deed that will set in motion 
in the events leading to Jesus' crucifixion and, ultimately, the salvation of humanity. This act, according to the text, is a service to the greater good, a sacrifice that Judas is destined to make. The Gospel of Judas paints a picture of a cosmos teeming with spiritual entities, with Jesus portrayed as a being sent from a realm called the Pleroma, a realm of fullness far beyond the material world. In stark contrast to traditional teachings, this Gospel suggests that the material world is a flawed creation, a departure from the perfection of the Pleroma. This narrative challenges the very foundations of traditional Christian theology. It posits a universe where the divine plan is complex and mystical, far removed from the black and white morality of conventional religious narratives. It raises profound philosophical questions about predestination, free will, and the nature of salvation. This text leaves us with more questions than answers. What does it mean to be a hero or a villain in a story where roles are reversed and perspectives are turned upside down? How does this text reshape our understanding of sacrifice and redemption? This gospel, a hidden gem in the annals of history, is not just a historical curiosity. It is a mirror reflecting our deepest questions about faith, destiny, and the nature of good and evil. For those daring enough to explore its depths, the Gospel of Judas offers a journey into a world where nothing is as it seems, where the familiar becomes unfamiliar, and where the greatest truths lie hidden in plain sight. To truly grasp the enigma of the Gospel of Judas, one must experience its words firsthand, delve into its mysteries, and confront the challenging and provocative ideas it presents. It is a journey for the brave, for those who seek to question, to understand, and to explore the untold stories of our past. As we peer through the mist of time and controversy, several questions loom large, their answers as elusive as the whispers of ancient gods. Is the Gospel of Judas a genuine relic of early Christian thought, a lost chapter from a time when diverse interpretations coexisted? Or is it an elaborate fabrication, a cleverly woven story of myth and imagination designed to deceive or enlighten? The path to verifying the authenticity of such a text is fraught with obstacles, both scholarly and philosophical. The papyrus itself, carbon dated to approximately the 3rd to 4th century AD, suggests an origin in an era of rich theological diversity, a time when the Christian doctrine was not yet set in stone. This era was a crucible of ideas, a time when the boundaries between heresy and orthodoxy were blurred and shifting. Scholars have poured over the Coptic language of the text, dissecting its syntax and style, seeking to unravel its origins. Their findings suggest a sophistication and depth consistent with Gnostic texts of the time, hinting at a possible link to early Christian sects that embraced a more mystical approach to spirituality. Yet the mystery deepens. The Gospel of Judas, with its unorthodox portrayal of one of the most infamous figures in Christian lore, stands apart, its narrative diverging sharply from the established canon. This divergence is not just a matter of differing viewpoints. It represents a fundamental challenge to the narrative that has shaped centuries of theological thought. The questions surrounding the Gospel of Judas compel us to ponder the nature of truth in history. What if this text, long buried and now resurrected, holds keys to understanding not just the past, but our very conception of faith and morality? What if within its lines lies a truth that was too profound, too unsettling, to be accepted in its time? Judas Iscariot is etched as a figure of infamy, the embodiment of betrayal, his name synonymous with treachery. Traditionally, Judas is known as the disciple who betrayed Jesus Christ to the authorities for 30 pieces of silver, an act that set into motion the events leading to the crucifixion. In this canonical portrayal, Judas is often seen as the archetypal traitor, his actions marking the ultimate betrayal of trust. His role is pivotal, for without his betrayal, the crucifixion, central to the Christian doctrine of redemption, may not have occurred. However, the Gospel of Judas paints a starkly different picture of this enigmatic figure. Here, Judas is not the betrayer, but rather a confidant, chosen by Jesus for a most sacred and profound mission. In this narrative, Judas's act of betrayal is reframed as an act of obedience to Jesus' own instructions. It suggests that Judas's role was essential to the fulfillment of divine prophecy, making him not a traitor, but a key instrument in the unfolding of the divine plan. This portrayal challenges us to rethink the very nature of betrayal and loyalty. If Judas was acting on Jesus's request, does his act still constitute betrayal? This question forces us to delve deeper into the philosophical and theological implications of free will, predestination, and the nature of good and evil. The Gospel of Judas suggests that Judas's role was misunderstood, his actions not born of greed or malice, but of a deeper understanding of Jesus' mission. It posits Judas as an enlightened figure, privy to esoteric knowledge and cosmic truths that were beyond the comprehension of the other disciples. This intimate knowledge and the heavy burden of his destined role cast Judas in a tragic light, a figure fated to be vilified for an act that was, according to this text, a necessary
voluntary sacrifice for the greater good. This reinterpretation of Judas's character raises profound questions about the nature of history and myth. It challenges the conventional narrative and invites us to consider the possibility that there are layers of truth and understanding in religious texts that are yet to be fully comprehended. The Gospel of Judas, therefore, does not just offer a different view of Judas Iscariot. It opens a portal to a world where the lines between hero and villain blur, where actions and motives are deeply intertwined in the complex web of divine mystery. It compels us to question how history is written and remembered, and how individuals are cast as characters in the stories we tell. The Gospel of Judas, with its radical reinterpretation of one of Christianity's most pivotal characters, stands at the crossroads of history and belief, casting a long shadow on the landscape of modern Christianity. Its potential impact on contemporary faith is as profound as it is complex, intertwining with the threads of ancient Gnostic thought and challenging the foundations of traditional Christian doctrine. In the realm of modern Christianity, which is characterized by a diverse spectrum of beliefs and interpretations, the introduction of the Gospel of Judas is akin to a stone cast into a still pond, creating ripples that could potentially reshape the contours of faith and understanding. This Gospel invites believers and scholars alike to revisit the story of Judas Iscariot, not as a tale of betrayal, but as a narrative of necessary sacrifice and misunderstood intentions. This shift in perspective could lead to a profound re-evaluation of themes like redemption, sacrifice, and divine will within Christian theology. This text is closely aligned with Gnostic Christianity, an early Christian movement that emphasized esoteric knowledge and mystical understanding of the divine. Gnosticism, with its focus on inner enlightenment and the idea of a hidden spiritual knowledge accessible only to a select few, provides a fitting backdrop for the narrative presented in the Gospel of Judas. This Gospel's portrayal of Judas as a keeper of secret wisdom and a pivotal figure in the fulfillment of a divine plan resonates deeply with Gnostic themes of spiritual ascension and the duality of the material and spiritual worlds. The integration of the Gospel of Judas into modern Christianity, however, is fraught with challenges. For many, the acceptance of this text would require a radical rethinking of deeply ingrained beliefs about sin, redemption, and the nature of Jesus' sacrifice. It raises the question, can the traditional Christian narrative, with its emphasis on Judas as the betrayer, coexist with the alternative perspective offered by this Gospel? The possibility of accepting the Gospel of Judas within the framework of modern Christianity opens a door to a broader and more inclusive understanding of the Christian faith. It suggests that Christianity is not static, but dynamic, capable of encompassing a multitude of narratives and interpretations. This inclusivity could enrich the faith, allowing for a more nuanced understanding of its history and doctrines. However, the integration of the Gospel of Judas into the mainstream Christian canon would not be without its detractors. For many, the canonical Gospels represent a closed and definitive account of the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. The introduction of a text that contradicts these established narratives could be seen as a threat to the very foundation of the faith. The Gospel of Judas, a beacon from an era shrouded in mysticism, invites us to question, to seek, and to wonder. It challenges us to look beyond the written word, to explore the spaces between lines where hidden truths may lie. This text is not just a relic of a bygone age. It is a living, breathing challenge to our understanding of faith, history, and the very nature of redemption. If the Gospel of Judas were to be embraced by modern Christianity, how do you think it would change the narrative of Judas Iscariot? And what implications would it have for the understanding of betrayal and redemption in the Christian faith? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Until next time.